and welcome to this instructional video on how to use and inject an Ozempic pen. Ozempic is taken once a week, so mark your calendar so you take it the same day every week. The dose or doses that are in the pen will be written on the label. It uses disposable needles. It is important to store your pen properly to ensure it works effectively. Unopened pens should be kept in the refrigerator and are safe to store until the expiration date on the pen. After first use of the Ozempic pen, the pen can be stored for 56 days at room temperature or in a refrigerator. Before we start, make sure you have your Ozempic pen, a new pen needle, two alcohol swabs, and a sharps container nearby. First, wash your hands with warm, soapy water or with a hand sanitizer. As shown, it's important to ensure your hands are clean to prevent any potential infection at the injection site. Now remove the pen cover, take an alcohol swab, and gently clean the top of the pen. Take the pen needle and remove the paper tab on the bottom. Place the pen needle on top of the pen and turn it clockwise until the pen needle feels secure. If you over-tighten the pen, it may need to be loosened and then need to be tightened again. There are two caps on your pen needle. First, remove the clear outer cap and put it aside. Then remove the inner cap and discard it. You will not need the inner cap. Now we need to prime the pen. Important, the needle is only prime the first time you use the pen. This ensures the medication flows properly and that any air is removed. Turn the dose style to the first line on the pen. Hold the pen with a needle pointing upwards and press the plunger you should see a small stream or drop of medication. If not, repeat this step. If still no drop, then replace the needle. The dose style should return to zero. Once you have primed it successfully, turn the dose style until your medication dose is in the window that matches the medication dose you should be taking. If you are ever unsure of the dose you should take, please consult your healthcare team. Now you'll need to choose your injection site. For this video demonstration, we'll be using this injection pad. The areas where you'll be injecting this medication are either the back of the upper arm, the abdomen, at least two inches from the belly button or the thigh. Clean the area with alcohol swab and allow it to air dry. Avoid injecting into areas where the skin is broken or irritated as the medication may not absorb correctly. It is important to rotate injection sites so you're not injecting the medication in the same site each time. Holding the pen at a 90 degree angle to the injection site, push the needle all the way into the skin. Press the plunger at the end of the pen to inject the medication. When the dose dial turns to zero, continue to hold down the plunger and count slowly to six seconds before removing the needle. This ensures all the medication is delivered after injection. Remove the needle from your skin. Use the clear outer cap to place back on top of the needle when it is firmly in place. Rotate the outer cap counterclockwise to loosen the pen needle. When the pen needle is turned loose, it will lift off the top of the pen. Place the used pen needle in a sharps container then replace the pen cap back on the Ozempic pen as shown. At the end of this video, we will provide a website where you can easily locate a nearby facility that accepts Sharps containers. Hope you found this video helpful. To reinforce how to use and inject the Ozempic pen, call your healthcare team with any questions regarding this medication.